as long as the Republicans are a party who, in my view, uh, does not take seriously the emergency of climate change, and I'm not sure if they even believe in American democracy anymore. Certainly most Republicans, I think, did not in, in Congress uh, condemn what happened on January 6th, trying to not count the votes in an honest election. As long as those two issues are what they are for Republicans, I don't think they're even savable. Whereas the Democrats, maybe I'm being a cockeyed optimist, but I still think they are savable. So let's talk about those two issues, because okay. yeah, I know there are a lot of people in my audience who are thinking, OK, so if we just solve those two issues, then maybe Bill Maher votes Republican for the first time. Have you ever voted Republican? Absolutely. I voted for Bob Dole in 96. Mm -hmm. Now, I admit that was a sentimental vote because, you know, I don't think I ever told you this. My parents, both World War II veterans, met in World War II. My mother was a nurse. Um, I think he was the last one from the World War II era, and he was going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an easy vote, isn't it? So that, that's the other vote, thing about voting it, in it California. Wasn't like if he won, it, it's so different than where the Republican Party is now. It's not like if he won, he was a crazy person who was, you know, going to start not counting the votes or do the crazy things that Trump did when he was president or, you know, not concede elections or something. He was just, you know, he was a, a Kansas conservative. Um, and I voted for McCain in the 2000 primary, I think, mm -hmm. I, when he was, you know, Against the, w, yeah. the original maverick, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I may have voted for him in that election. Mm -hmm. I may, I, if, you know, he, if he was, no, no, in, oh, in 2000, 2000, if he had gotten, got the, nom yeah. gotten the nomination. So let's, so let's start with the climate change thing and then we'll get to the voting thing. So the, so on climate change, the, there's, I think, sort of a, a reasonable spectrum of opinion inside the Republican Party. And then there are the people who just outright say climate change is not happening. It's not human cost. Um, the, the position that's been taken by a lot of Republicans, including me, uh, I say that climate change is happening. I, I fully accept the IPCC estimates and the range of estimates from the IPCC. Okay. I just think that the solutions that are being proposed are completely unreasonable. So I think this idea that we're going to just pour money into green energy and this is going to magically solve the problem does not solve the basic problem, which is that most of the forms of energy we're talking about are not nearly competitive on the world stage with carbon-based energy. But what and about a carbon tax? So a carbon tax would be almost impossible to do globally is the issue. So the biggest emitters on it, not on a per capita basis, but on an absolute basis, are China and India right now. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to carbon tax anything. Right? We still have a global co competition with China and India in terms of foreign policy and allowing them to pollute up the wazoo while we sacrifice our own energy ambitions. That seems like a bad recipe for Europe right now, for example, with regard to Russia, which means that if you're actually going to do something, what I've talked about before is, is doing things like building seawalls, exploring geoengineering. Adapting. Uh, adapting. Because okay. humans are great at adapting, so, or, and we suck at actually preventing. We're very good at adapting, suck at preventing. Does, I mean, does adapting include, uh, like, going to Mars, like uh, Elon Musk? I mean, that's not, that's not, like, top of the agenda. I mean, I think that seawalls well, are better. But, yeah. but sure, I mean, I like space travel as much as the next guy, but, but I don't really? think— Mars? I mean— uh, and I am a big fan. I, I'm not going to spend lots of money on it, but you're—I mean, like, this isn't, like, top of my proposal I, list. Okay, I'm a big Elon Musk fan, um, but Mars, come on. If it gets that bad— I mean, I, 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 I'm sure I won't be around for this, but Mars, please. I mean, there's no air. I mean, do I get to be there by myself? I mean, like, <laughs> like, am I bothered often? Like, there's, there's, <laughs> there's no air. Yeah, no, there's it's, some problems. It's turned below zero. There are sandstorms that last for months at a time. It's no matter how bad we screwed the Earth, it couldn't be worse than that. that that's a, that's it, it, it just there are fewer can't. people. There are fewer people. There are f the, the, the company <laughs> well, isn't is as bad. Good? I mean, it there's, depends where you're living. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the restaurants. There's no atmosphere. That's true. I mean, either no on the food. planet no or in the food. restaurant. It, it, yeah, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this adapter, and it's funny you say that because I was having dinner with a friend of mine, just a regular liberal person, you know, not a crazy person, left or right, but you know, generally a liberal person, lives in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And I heard him say exactly what you said. I thought, oh, that's interesting that he's where you are. He said, you know, we're not going to do anything about this. Let's be honest. We're going to have to start just adapting. I still think we should try a little harder for a little while more to do something about it. And, uh, I mean, you don't think if we led the way at some point that would have some influence on other countries? Do you think China and India would just say, Okay, forget it. We're just going to hold hands like Telma and Louise and drive off the direct. I mean, China would. I mean, I, th I think China would would immediately take advantage of our 
sacrifice on the on the economic front in order to gain more power. I mean, this is the reason I say this is because this is precisely what you're seeing from Russia, right? Europe has gone way more in a green direction than the United States has. And they're still basically powering their economy with Russian natural gas and oil. I mean, 50% of Germany's natural gas and oil were coming from Russia. And so the minute that Russia invades Ukraine, all of a sudden the prices double in these places. And it turns out all these investments in green energy were making them dependent on one of the world's most aggressive powers. Like they're, they're, real, they're real unintended consequences to listening to Greta Thunberg when you make policy. Well, I did a whole thing on Greta and Kylie Jenner uh, about three or four months ago, um, which was an indictment really of the younger generations because they're the ones who would have to care about this more than me. I'm 66, I've had my fun with the earth. <laughs> You know, um, I mean, I, I want to save it for the future, but they're the ones who are like, you ruined the planet and we're environmentalists. And I showed, I think Greta has like 13 million followers and Kylie has 289 million. And she's always getting on board a private jet. And that generation, they seem to care so much about that kind of thing. They want materialism, Bitcoin, which is horrible cryptocurrency for the environment uses more currency than some entire nations they love it don't even know it's bad for the i've asked them they oh no that's news to me so until the younger generation cares more than they do and i don't mean you know the gretas there are yeah. those but in general you know i just think people are just gonna use up what we have until it's gone and that's a bigger problem if you're 25 than if you are my age. So on, on the climate change thing, if, if the proposals were for seawalls from the Republican Party and not this snowball means there's no global warming, then you'd be, <laughs> <laughs> then, then you, you'd be in the ballpark. Yeah, I also think we could lead more. I, I, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but I do think if we, if we took the lead, if we planted our flag on the ground and said, we're doing this, uh, I think you can get people. I think you can shame people a little bit. Now, I understand it's very hard to, um, can you still use the term third world or is that bad? I do. I mean, is it? <laughs> well, that's right. I'm I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's bad. Developing I'm, world. Which nation are we talking <laughs> about bad, here? Are we, talking about, are we talking about nations that, well, where people are burning dung for fuel? Because, I mean, right. by, by the way, we should mention that when it comes to green energy, it's very easy for first world people to care a lot about solar panels, but right. when you're burning dung for no, fuel in Africa, that makes it very, very difficult for you to care. But what I'm saying is third world, okay, places that have not had air conditioning, places that have not had cars. <laughs> okay, and now they finally are getting them. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to say to them, Look, we haven't been enjoying these things for quite a long time now. You stop that right now. <laughs> you, <laughs> now, bad timing. Yeah. <laughs> bad timing for you. You have to forego these things. Uh, so I, I take your point. It's going to be very hard for India and China. But, I mean, they're not stupid. I mean, they must understand that what good is it to win the economic race if you can't breathe? I well, mean, but the, I think the air in Beijing, don't they sometimes have to, like, take drastic measures oh, because yeah. you can't breathe there. Well, then the nice thing about being a communist dictatorship is that a few more people die, you know, what's a few more beans more or less is, is the nice thing about being a horrific, tyrannical dictatorship. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, you know, communist authoritarian nations don't have a great environmental track record from Chernobyl to, to right. Beijing today. I mean, um, I mean, you, a case could be made that we very often are callous about people's life in this country as well. I mean, I will say we haven't killed 100 million people for an ideology recently. So, we were that's what are you talking about? Communism. Yeah, well, oh, I mean, communism. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 